A few years ago, I started working on a picture book called The Rabbit Sculptor. A sculptor is a type of artist who makes sculptures, sculptures being three-dimensional artworks. For example, this clay sculpture I made of a bunch of different animals. Another example is this statue of Groot that I bought. So that's what a sculptor does, is he makes sculptures. So the rabbit sculptor, his whole thing is that he'll make sculptures that look like one thing, but it's made out of a bunch of other things that he has laying around his house. So for instance, this surfing elephant that he made out of a tire and a disco ball and a fishbowl, some cloth, pumpkins, an apron, stuff like that. Or this owl that he made out of a stool, a cassette player, and a cloth. You can tell by the cassette player how long ago I started this book. Or a snowman out of some tangled Christmas lights, a basketball, and a couple of rakes. But then I got to thinking about it, I was like, this would make a really fun art project that you guys could do at home, something simple. Find some objects that you have laying around the house that it's okay to mess with, and see if you can put those together to make a larger sculpture. This could be something very simple, or this could be something a little bit more complicated, more complex. So for example, here's three socks that I just rolled up together, and then I stuck some wires in it to make the eyes, and using some wire and, th and three socks, I made a snail. Right here I stacked up some canvases, cut out some construction paper to look like a door and windows, put up some paintings of trees for the background, and I've got this little house with just some art supplies that I had laying around. Here I've got a lint roller, some tape, glue bottle. This thing's supposed to scare away spiders. Doesn't really work. A couple batteries, post-it notes, sharpies. And I added in some cut-up rubber bands for the whiskers, and here's my mouse. Alright, this one's called Mr. Eads Falls Asleep While Drawing which is just a bunch of clothing stuffed with towels and a pillow, um, other towels stuffed under a hat. I don't wear hats, but I'd have something to keep the towels together. Uh, I kind of cheated because I have a mannequin, but, you know. This is a stop sign that I made from a pillow, a yardstick, a clothes hamper to hold it down, and some index cards. A kindergartner actually made this for me, but this is a log cabin out of popsicle sticks. But maybe if I kind of add to it and give it a background and some, some trees around it, Put it on some grass, on some green paper. Here's some erasers, a box of staples, and a KFC container that I keep my paint in. And here's a turtle. So kind of going back to the book, it's not about making something that looks just like the subject that you're trying to make, but it has general shapes so when you look at it, it kind of looks like the thing that you're trying to make. Like this lamb, for example. He has a kitchen sink for a head that looks nothing like a lamb's head, but tape some socks on the sides as ears, and with the size of the body and the four legs, kind of looks like a lamb. 